In this video, I'll be showing you a few more of the features in Frescobaldi. You may not need a few of these features if you're just starting out using Lily Pond, but it's good to know that they are there if you need them. The first feature I'll show you is how you can take a quick snapshot of a portion of your score. To do that, let's zoom in. To take a snapshot, click and hold the right mouse button and drag over the portion of the score that you'd like to take a picture of. When you release the right mouse button, you'll get a copy to image option. From this dialog box, you can change your DPI, which is the quality of your image, or the size. You can auto crop or even copy to your clipboard. For this example, let's click and hold the drag button and drag to your desktop. Once you do that, you should have a PNG file. Simply double click on it and there's your image. Another feature you can use with the right mouse button is to right click on a note in your score and edit in place. This really comes in handy when you have a big score and you don't want to constantly have to find where you are in the code. You can just quickly click on a note and edit it in place like this. The next feature is the documentation browser. To find that, come up here to Tools and Documentation Browser. Now I've docked mine here, but you can float it if you'd like. And once you open it, it will access the Lily Pond documentation. So it saves you from having to open up a web browser and doing it manually. Just click on whatever link you need and you're in. You can even search for terms using this field here. The next feature I'll show you is the search and replace option. So let's say you wanted to change all of your C sharps to E flats. A quick way to do that is to use the search and replace option. It's under edit, replace, or control H for your keyboard shortcut. You'll notice it pops up right here. You can just type in whatever you want to change. I'll type in C sharp and we'll change that to E flat. Hit replace to do one, the next occurrence, or all to do all instances. Let's re-engrave. And if we zoom in here, you'll see the C sharps are now E flats. You can also search using regular expressions, which is a really handy feature. For more information, you can check the Python documentation. Next up, I'll show you how to convert relative pitch mode to absolute in one easy step. So you'll see we have relative mode here, but let's say we wanted to actually have the absolute pitches instead. To do that, come up here to Tools, Pitch, Convert Relative to Absolute. Watch what happens. Frescobaldi removed Relative Mode and put all the appropriate apostrophes or commas as needed. You can also quickly edit durations. For example, let's say we'd like to double these durations of these three notes. To do that, come up here to Tools, Rhythm, Double Durations. Let's re-engrave. And there they are. If you want to quickly transpose a section of your score, or the entire score, Frescobaldi makes that easy to do. 
come up here again to Tools, Pitch, and Transpose. Now when transposing music, two absolute pitches need to be given to specify the distance to transpose. The pitches can include octave marks if you'd like. So, for example, let's say we want to transpose a minor third up. To do that, we would enter C, space, E flat. Hit OK, and let's re engrave. And we see our transposition was successful. If you're working on your score, and you'd like to remove, say, articulations or slur marks in one easy step, Frescobaldi lets you do that. Let's say, for example, we'd like to remove these articulations. Come up here, go to Tools, Quick Remove. You'll see we have options for articulations, ornaments, slurs, dynamics. Let's choose articulations. Let's re-engrave, and they're gone. The last feature I'll be showing you is a new feature that was added in Frescobaldi 2.0.11. It's called Preview Options. Now you're not going to be needing these if you're just starting out using Lily Pond, but down the road it's going to be an awesome time saver. To enable Preview Options, go to your Tools menu, and select Preview Options. I have mine docked behind my music view, so let's take a look. Now don't worry about these options. If you don't understand what they are, that's fine. But let me select a few and I'll show you how it looks. Let's re-engrave. And don't worry if you have any warnings in your log file. That's okay for now. And if you look in our music view, we now have these control points which allow you to easily modify and tweak certain options in your score without leaving Frescobaldi. This is an awesome feature and a great time saver. So just remember that it is there and you will be using it as we work on our future projects together. If you haven't already downloaded Frescobaldi, I highly recommend you do it. It's going to help you a lot as you learn the syntax of Lily Pond. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.